What's up everybody? So January 4th is gonna be Will It Antenna Night with the YouTubers Bunch. I gotta figure out something weird to make an antenna from. So I've been searching around, looking through the web, looking for just weird ideas. Something fun, you know? See some dude made a antenna out of a shopping carts here apparently. I gotta figure something out. This is tricky for me, see, because I've built so many antennas out of so many different things. I've got my arrow shafts here, tent poles, random aluminum. I guess I'll keep searching around the shop here, see what I can find. Aluminum ladder, maybe? Maybe the metal from a folding camp chair? Ski poles, maybe? That might work for a two meter antenna. Now I've got my pool cleaning pole that I use for a mast. That's a 12 footer, but it's already one of my antenna masts. It's part of my antenna. Uh, I think I'll keep looking. Ice tools, perhaps? They're a little on the small side, but I might be able to make something out of them. Well, I've been thinking about this all day, trying to figure out what the heck to build for antenna night. Watching HRCC this evening, having a good time. There's the, there's the triple heart. Still don't know what the hell I'm gonna do. <laughs> Gotta figure this out. Portugal. Wait a minute. I think I've got my idea. So we've got the Rig Expert AA35 Zoom hooked up here. It's not too bad. We are less than 2 to 1, 1 1.7 to 2 to 1 across the band. The antenna itself is a wee bit short. It's resonant just above the band. But uh, that's nothing the IC7300 3 to 1 internal tuner can't handle. So let's hook it up and make some contacts. Hello CQ, 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 CQ 20 meters. This is Kilo 6 Alpha, Romeo Kilo calling CQ. Hello CQ, CQ, CQ 20 meters. This is Kilo 6 Alpha, Romeo Kilo calling CQ and listening. Kilo 6 Alpha, Romeo Kilo from Kilo Echo 9 Alpha Juliet. QSL, well thank you. Yeah, um, looking at the meter here, you're about an S, uh, S3 to S5. Um, so I'll give you a 5555 for the log here. Uh, thanks for helping me try out a uh, new antenna here. This is uh, a fun experimental one. Okay, it's a one by two whiskey two whiskey foxtrot QSL. QSL whiskey two whiskey foxtrot out of Texas. Go ahead, 
Roger, Roger, thanks for Texas. Yeah, you're about a 5.5 on the QSB peaks, but uh, fading up and down. Thank you for the contact from Texas. Alpha Romeo Kilo from Whiskey 7 Alpha Lima Tango. Whiskey 7 Alpha Lima Tango, good signal about a 5656 into San Diego this morning. Over. Okay, yeah, Roger, this is Adam Napier, Jim, Julian, India, Mike, and you're doing about the same thing uh, in the northwest Montana and the Whitefish, Montana. So uh, some QSB on the signal, but a uh, fine signal there, Adam. November 5, Juliet Golf Echo. November 5, Juliet Golf Echo. Great signal. 5-9 into Southern California this morning. Over. Hey, yeah, roger, roger. Thanks for the 5-9. You're about a 5-7 on the last over, but I'll keep an eye on it. Uh has been a little up and down this morning. Kilo Charlie 8, Lima. Kilo Bravo. Yeah, if I would give you a 5-9, five, 5-9 nine, five, nine coming into West Texas. Whiskey Tango X-Ray. Um, I've got about 100 watts on a uh, 7300 ICOM, and I also am running a vertical, so that's probably the reason we didn't put a good signal here. K6ART, this is KS9CO, the name here is Norman, and you're putting in a good signal. So back to you, this is KF9GO, go ahead. Well, I didn't look at the meter, but your Q5 copy here, I'm located at New Boston, Illinois a little town on the Mississippi River in the northwest corner of Illinois. I'm retired, I'm 89 years old, and uh, still going, over. Well, very cool, that's fantastic. Um, so the, uh, just to, to fill you in, I haven't been telling anybody, but I'm sure you'll appreciate this. The antenna I'm running today is actually a stack of beer cans, a stack of beer cans welded together. Um, and uh, it's, uh, it's kind of a fun or sort of joke antenna, but uh, it actually seems to be working, over. Well, it's doing a good job for you. Kilo Echo 6, Kilo Uniform Alpha. Kilo Echo 6, Kilo Uniform Alpha. 5353, 53 here in San Diego, over. Okay, is that any better? I just turned on my amp, over. Yeah, you came up to about a 5-5, five, 5-5. Five, five, five. Good signal, how are you doing today? I'm doing real good. Uh, that is Kilo Echo 7, by the way, if you wanna get the call sign right, over. Roger, roger. Thanks for the correction there. Kilo Echo 7, Kilo Uniform Alpha. And uh, I'm operating, uh, well, technically portable in the front yard today, uh, playing around with a, a, a new experimental antenna. Over. Well, that experimental antenna is working real good for you because you're coming in loud and clear. Uh, I'm up here in uh, uh, Columbia Falls, Montana. Over. Whiskey Alpha Zero, Roger Mary Whiskey, WA Zero, RMW, Ramona, California calling. <laughs> WA Zero, RMW, blowing my ears out here. Big signal uh, just across town here in Ramona, over. Yeah, very good, Adam. The handle here is Steve, Sierra, Texas, Easy, Victor, Easy. And uh, just happened to hear San Diego, so uh, you're a good uh, 30, 30 uh, plus here. And uh, sounds really good. Uh, back to you. My antenna is a little bit different. It's actually a stack of about 45 beer cans that I've welded together. So it's truly a beverage antenna. Go ahead. <laughs> yes, yes, indeed it is. Um, and it, it took a lot of work to, uh, to empty those cans over. Yeah, well, somebody's got to do it. I know I I'll, I'll take one for the team on that I guess <laughs> it was uh it was good fun in the making and it's uh it's quite a ridiculous thing to see standing up here in the front yard very good it sounds really good here and it sounds like you're getting out really well uh I could just barely hear the uh Montana station you uh were working just before me so uh if you were picking him up uh, it's doing a good job Secure the X, secure, secure the X. For America 50, Canada Radio Hotel, QRZ. Kilo 6 Alpha Romeo Kilo. Kilo 6 Alpha Romeo Kilo, you are 59 in Central of Mexico. My name is Enrique, my QTH, Aguascalientes, Central of Mexico, Royal. 
Roger, Roger, Buenos dias, Enrique. Uh, my name is Adam, Alpha, Delta, Alpha, Mike, and you're 5959 into San Diego, California, QSL. Aquí va a ser, my friend Alpha. Thank you very much for Friday night in San Diego, California. Thank you very much, my friend. A good DX and uh, thank you, my friend. All the best. Thank you, good DX. Well, it was getting a little breezy out here. The DX Brewmander was waving in the breeze, so I decided to bring it down for the day. Uh, if the wind dies down a little bit this afternoon, I'll probably put it back up. Uh, or perhaps tomorrow morning. It's about 4 o'clock local time, almost 2400 Zulu. The breeze died down, so I'm going to get the, D the uh, DX Brewmander back up in the air. So let's set this thing up and have some more fun. Delta Delta VE7 IAD on Vancouver Island. Hell copy. VE7 IAD Kilo 6 Alpha Romeo Kilo. Thanks for coming back to my call. You're 5959 into San Diego, California this evening. Over. Hey, you're real fine, Adam. Uh, good afternoon to you. And the name is Bernie. Located in Nanaimo. Uh, that's on Vancouver Island. About. 75 miles north of uh, Victoria. <laughs> All right, well, thanks, Bernie. You uh, you have a great signal. Sounds like you're running some power and probably have a solid station up there. I am uh, technically portable, but in my front yard. And uh, the antenna here today is a quarter wave vertical made out of about 45 beer cans that I welded together. So I'm uh, just having some fun today playing around with a slightly ridiculous antenna, and uh, it's actually working. Over. The antenna sounds uh, great, uh, Adam. I'm running the same rig, but into uh, 680, up about 55 feet. And uh, but anyway, a, a nice signal up here. Check. I, I've heard of the beer can antenna, but uh, I'm not quite sure what it is. So I'm going to have to take uh, take a boo at it. But definitely putting out a nice signal for you there with the 7300. Well, thank you, Bernie. Yeah, the you won't probably find much info on this antenna. It's it's literally a stack of 45 beer cans welded together. 73, Adam. All I could help you do would be to drink the beer. Hi, hi. <laughs> <laughs> Catch up to you later, I hope. Kilo 6 Alpha Romeo Kilo. This is Whiskey Bravo 6 Kilo Foxtrot Golf. Victor Alpha 7 Hotel Austin. I'm in Victoria, British Columbia. I'm running a Yesu 847 at 100 watts uh, using a uh, 20 meter, uh, just a horizontal drive pole at about uh, 40 feet up. That's, uh, I heard something about beer cans right at the end of your last conversation. I wondered what you were doing. So 45 beer cans stacked in well, but that's pretty neat, pretty neat way to make an antenna that's uh, good aluminum, so why not? Uh, the hot speed is working pretty well, pretty well. My, uh, my dipole's not working any better, so, uh, you know, we're both doing the same. <laughs> Victor Echo 7, Oscar, India. Victor Echo 7, Oscar, India, go ahead. Yeah, this is Victor Echo 7, Oscar, India, located on Vancouver Island. You are 5 and 6. Alright, I think it's time to break the system down and head on in for the night. 20 meters is dying down, not much going on, but it's been fun working a stack of beer cans all day, making contacts. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the adventure building the DX Brewmander and operating it here in the front yard today. It's been a blast. And I, I hope above all else that this encourages you to try things on your own and experiment with antennas. Every time I build something, I learn something new, including in this case. This was actually one of the first uh, quarter wave monopole vertical HF antennas that I've ever built. For whatever reason, I've just never built one before. The whole thing's been a blast and it actually worked. Yes, it will antenna. So there you have it, the DX Brewmander success. Thanks for coming along for the ride. It's been fun. 7-3 for now from Adam at K6ARK Portable Radio.